we just wanted to say a massive thank you to EcoFlow for partnering up with us on this video. Welcome to one of the hottest places on earth and it is right here in the Aussie Outback. Tonight, we are not sleeping in Cooper. We're going to be sleeping underground. We're staying in a room underground to hide from the heat. So we're currently walking through tunnels upon tunnels of completely mined up opal sites. So the sun is about to set. It is currently winter here in Australia, but yet it is still 32 and a half degrees right now. And yes, there are a bunch of flies in the car. So we've been driving for seven hours today. We just arrived in Cooper PD and now Hunter falls asleep. I swear that happens every time. Tell me you've been driving through the Aussie Outback and the front of your car looks like you've uh, hit the entire cast of a box. Guess who's woken up? Guess where we are? We're in a place called Cooba Petey. Yeah. Yeah. And guess where we're sleeping tonight? Mm -hmm. We're sleeping underground. Like sleeping under the ground, Hunter. Yeah. Do you want to yeah. come do that? I do. You do? Does it sound like a fun adventure? Even cooler than I was expecting. What? We are staying in a real life dugout. Like this is a local's dugout. They put on Airbnb for us to stay in tonight. So I was looking it up and over 60% of locals live in dugouts just like this one because in the summer it can get to 48 degrees Celsius. But inside here, all year round it is a constant 22 to 24 degrees. Had to look at the bed. Oh my goodness, we are struggling. Look at this. Come look! Is mummy and daddy sleeping in a cave? Whoa, careful of your head on this one, Hunter. So you might be wondering what life is like living underground. Let's give you guys a tour of our studio apartment. Welcome to the master bedroom. So you're wanting to extend your house. I suppose you just carve more into the side of the mountain. Plus a little spot to pop your bone. And the place does come with custom shelving with opals on display. So moving on from the kids' room, main room and uh, guest room is our kitchen. Boys, if you ever need to replace your old fridge, just dig a bigger hole. Okay, I haven't even seen the bathroom yet. It's huge! Oh my gosh! Look at this place! So we have a toilet, pretty decent sized shower, and there's a little view, kind of a little view outside. Do they have white hair? No. Yay! And they even provide us with game night. So a lot of the dugouts here in Cooper PD are like this. It's carved into the side of a hill or a mountainside, and then they've extended it out here to let in some light because of course people live, you want to have sunshine coming through. And this is the dining room, so right up against the windows, and honestly, it does let plenty of light into the house. Hmm, where's Hunter? <gasps> <laughs> Yep, <laughs> even Hunter has her own little room as well. And something that I think you're only gonna find in an Airbnb here in Cooper PD is there is a sieve and a shovel and we can go outside and go noodling for our own opals. are probably wondering why does this town even exist well um it's the opal capital of the entire world and today we're going to be exploring one of those opal mines which color do you want pink or yellow yellow you want yellow so what we do put it on our head and it goes over <laughs> cheese cheese <laughs> We're currently walking through tunnels upon tunnels of completely mined up opal sites. Okay, this is like the coolest mine site ever. Hunter wasn't that interested of in going so deep underground, but um, then they gave me a car and she was keen. It's one way to explore an open mine. I feel like only parents will understand this. <laughs> when you just come and want to do something, the kid's like, no, this is how we're gonna see it. And you just have to run with it. <laughs> Thanks, You're probably thinking, so where's the opal? Well, if you have a UV light to shine it to the wall, you can see opal all through the walls. <laughs> Look, it's all there. That opal. Did you find an opal? Doesn't this look like we have just stepped into like the set of Mad Max or something? What I've noticed driving around town is that so many of the mining vehicles look so makeshift. They just look like during the opal rush that people just brought whatever vehicles they had and just chuck the equipment on top. So it really looks cool. 
Oh, and yes, we are going to be eating underground. Okay, cheers. What have you got for lunch? Nunu. Nunu. Here you go. Nunu. Do you want Daddy to show you the best way to get Nunu's? We put it in and we twist. Hot. Hot. <laughs> this is all oh, blubber. I just had the most randomest thought ever. Now that Hunter knows her colours, I want to know how she sees Do you remember that dress. I don't even remember what year it was. I saw it as gold and white. You saw it as blue and black. Hunter, what colour is this? Blue. It's blue? <laughs> she sees it like you! <laughs> That's so interesting. All I see is gold and white. I'm bringing something back in ages you... ago. Oh, she sees it as blue and black like her dad. It's quite wild, we're just driving along the road and you just see thousands of mounds and holes everywhere. It's kind of sad, don't you think? It just looks like tens of thousands of ant mounds everywhere. So interested in how many opals they have found out here and if they have a plan to ever fill in all these holes or what they're gonna do. I've never seen anything like it before. We have just rocked up at such a beautiful place for sunset. I want to make a cheese board. Hunter's fallen asleep. She keeps sleeping at the weirdest times. It's like 5 p.m. But at least she's going to wake up to something a little yummy. She's in there snoring. Well, it looks like our little picnic turned into a little date night, which is nice. So Hunter's going to sleep in there and we're going to enjoy the views. But don't you worry, guys. We have something fun planned for Hunter tonight. If she wakes up, otherwise, welcome to the breakaways. It's a national park, maybe 25 minutes outside from the town. And it just looks stunning because you have these different colored mounds, very similar to the mining mounds. But of course, these are natural. And honestly, just with all the colors, it's really beautiful. And it's a good spot for sunset. This little one is still quite sleepy, but tonight we're going to one of South Australia's last drive-in cinemas. And we're going to be watching, is it Sing 2? Sing 2. And you know we're about to go see a movie while being inside Cooper. Does she care? Hunter, I have popcorn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now you care. That was so cute. Ready? Oh, go. The movie's got animals in it. You want to eat the popcorn and watch a movie? Yay! Yeah. We've just taken Cooper to the drive-in. What do you see? Yeah. Is there a movie there? This cinema has been around since 1965. That is so cool that they've still got it here. And it looks like we're the only fan here. So uh, we're going to be watching this movie straight from bed. I think this is Hunter's first cinema experience. Mm. What a spot. The Cooper Beattie Outdoor Cinema. Movie <laughs> on. Mama, see. I see it. <laughs> You're so happy. See. I see it. So we've been heading out in Australia using our EcoFlow Max so that we can go off-grid more often and explore our home country of Australia without any limits. So one of the best things about exploring your home country in a van is being able to do those more off the beaten track experiences. But when your home is a van and you have a little toddler, you can only get stretched so far if you're constantly worried about the power cutting out, not being able to cook, not being able to entertain everybody. So having the EcoFlow Max has definitely made it a lot easier especially because you guys know just how much Jess loves to use her air fryer. So, you know, rather than living off packeted noodles, we can have a few more home comforts like, I don't know, making pizza in our van whilst I'm able to work on my laptop, charge all the batteries we need to make these vlogs. And of course, if we're here in the Aussie outback, plenty of sun, we can just easily plug our solar panels in and keep using renewable energy to charge up our battery. Plus, like with everything these days, there's an easy EcoFlow app where you can just easily check via Bluetooth how much charge you got left, how much power you're drawing, so you don't really have to think too much about it, which I love the most. So if you guys are interested in picking up these little but powerful batteries, I'll make sure I leave a link in the description below. Now let's head back to the truck. So this morning we've said goodbye to our little underground abode and we are off finding a place to stay for tonight. And every single day at the moment we keep going and driving out on these dirt roads and every single time Hunter falls asleep. So I feel like we have found a trick. If we ever need Hunter to have a snooze, you just go out the dirt roads and uh, she's off snoozing. Somebody woke up. We just pulled up to some lady's farm. She checked in, gave us some fresh eggs, some firewood. We're gonna camp out for the night. Can daddy have some popcorn, please? Thank you. Three, four, 
Ready or not, here I come. Hunter has a new favorite game. Is Hunter over here? Hmm, where could Hunter be? Is she over here? Hmm. Did I hear something? <gasps> Found you! Uh -oh. One, two... Ready or not, here I come! Could Hunter be over here? No... Could Hunter be over here? Got you! Ready or not, here I come! Is she behind here? Hmm? Where could Hunter be? Oh! <laughs> two cupcakes, please. I got that. Ah, oh, thank you. One... Two. And there's your money. No. What do you got there? She wants to help you start the fire. Thank you. Give it to Daddy. Mom. Thank you. You want me to open? Yeah. The lady who owns this farm has given us some fresh eggs straight from her chicken coop. <laughs> Do you want some eggs for breakfast? Yeah. <laughs> These definitely look like farm eggs. I think breakfast is sorted. Moo. <laughs> no. Buck, buck. Yeah, buck, buck. <laughs> One. Watch. Hit it. Okay, your turn, uh, ready? Crack, crack, open. Should we do another one? Yeah. One, two, three. Crack. <laughs> I'll hold the ball this time. One, two, three, crack. Give me another one. One, two, three, crack, crack. Good work, Hunter. Crack. Can you stir it up? Daddy put salt. No. Stir the salt in, Hunter. And okay, now Daddy put pepper. And stir, stir, stir. And Hunter, do you want me to make us a hot chocolate? I feel like this setting here right now is very different to what we were about to go and experience. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe if you're new around here. Because yeah, the next episode's gonna be a fun one. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next week.